Cheltenham 2022, first race of the day, all oh, it's exciting, a big roar. Supreme Novice Hurl, Skybet Supreme Novice Hurl. You've got Mighty Potter and Tree Stripe Life due to run. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good race, Ran. It's probably going to one of the races of the week on paper at the moment. Um, you know, Mighty Potter probably, he's, he's a forgotten horse. Uh, he's a great one winner, you know, he, he's, he's coming, there's not a lot of chat about him, but uh, he's a good horse. He races a bit behind the bridle, so, you know, the quicker to go, um, if he's in firing distance, at second last, he'll come home strong. Um, he's a horse with a massive engine. Jamie called rode him up during the week and he's very, very happy with him. Um, so we're looking forward to him and with Three Stripe Life as well. He was second to Sir Gerard the last day. Um, didn't do anything wrong, uh, made a mistake the last day. He, he'd probably bet fair and square, but he's a horse. He's only had three runs over hurdles. He's improving the whole time. He's a big horse. He's going to be a chaser down the road, but I think both horses will take their chance in the sky bet. Supreme novice hurdle, as you say. Cracking race. Yeah, it is a good race. You know, I was very impressed with Willie's horse, uh, Dice Out Dynamo. Um, you know, obviously Nicky's few horses and there's, there's a couple of others in it as well. It's going to be a good race, but um, listen, it's Cheltenham and that's what it's all about. It is the best of the best. And uh, speaking of uh, the best, uh, the novice chase, the Sporting Life Arkle chase, of course, uh, River to Tell. She's been a revelation this year over fences. She has. She's improving every run, Fran. You know, I thought at the start of the season she was a light filly that wanted to do everything in a hurry. Um, you know, I thought we might, you know, make hay early when the sun mm. shines. But uh, in fairness, so I think she's improving every run. Um, you know, she was unlucky the last day. She, she she jumped brilliant the whole way out from the last, and it, it ultimately cost her the race. But uh, she's come out of the race very well. She's in good form, and we're looking forward to go go to the Arkle now. You know, obviously you've um, Alan King's uh, horse's favourite, and you know uh, Willie's horse and ours are kind of fine for second favourite. But um, it's a good race, you know. And, I suppose with these other horse, I can't. The name escapes me. That um, that fell fell in Leopard Sound. That day could be dangerous as well. Hot on clear. Yeah, but uh, our mare's in good form. I think Cheltenham will suit her the way she stays. Were you pleased the way she battled after the mistake of the last was. Leopard Sound? Yeah, it was. Uh, that's what really impressed me about her. Um, you know, a mare like that that's a bit keen and likes getting on with. It, you're always a bit worried what they're going to find when they come off the bridle. But in fairness to her, she put her head out and she got up the whole way to the line. The champion hurl honeysuckle will be all the rage, but yeah. take her out. It's an open race. It is, yeah, and look, at, rightly so. She's all the rage. You know, she's unbeaten so far. Um, you know, y y you couldn't be impressed with what she's doing. Um, you know, she probably had a harder race than you'd have liked the last day. You know, for for her prep race going to the champion hurdle, but um, you know, she just knows how to win, and when they know how to win, it's it's uh, it's hard to beat them. We you know Santa here. We've we've six and a half lengths to find with her. And um, we'll put cheek pieces on him. You know, not that he's ungenuine, but I think it'll help him earlier in the race. And I think the track will suit him a lot better. Mm. And we've um, we've Tiapu, who's in very good form. He's probably the one horse in the race that's unexposed. I, well, I suppose you've appreciated, it. Um, you know, who's obviously won a supreme. So he he's unexposed as to what improvement is he has. But our horse is probably you know first time up into a Grade One. He hasn't done anything wrong so far. He, he again he knows how to win. Um, but he's an unexposed horse and he's improving, so sometimes they're the type of horses you need to maybe overturn the likes of a uh, honeysuckle. Exactly, and he's still improving from four to five, he's made good yeah. progress. He's had to grow a lot and getting stronger. Look at sitting here today, if I'm telling you he's good enough to win a champion hurdle, I'm telling you a lie, but I think he's a good each way chance and he's entitled to take his chance in the race. The Mayor's Hurl, really competitive race as yeah. always. Queensbrook's getting back to something like her best, is she? I was very happy with her in Punchestown last week. Um, she jumped very well. She had a good blow. She had to come on an awful lot from the race. She's not the easiest trained, and you know we'd missed a good bit of time before the race. So, um, thankfully she came out of it well. She's in great form at home. We're very very happy with her and really looking forward to go to Cheltenham. I think the track will suit her. She obviously placed in the bumper before. Um, I think she's got a big squeak. National on Chase Galvin, of course, won last year. Yeah. A couple of contenders possibly for that. Yeah, I'd say in the National on Chase, run run by Fred. Obviously, second in an Irish National last year. Um, you know, he won the Tri Town. He's placed in the Grade One. Um, I think he ticks a lot of the boxes for the race. For me, it's a race. You know, the second season novices have a massive record in it. You know, it's three miles six. You know, you have to relax. You have to jump. Um, I think the race will suit him. You know, his style of race and the ground drying out a bit will suit him as well. He's in very, very good form, and as I said, I think a second second season novice really suits. Uh, Brayside will join him. Uh, he's won a Cork National. You know he stays. Um, he ran well in the Paddy Power on nicer ground, so the ground won't bother him either. You know he stays. Um, he ran in a Grade Two in Navan the last day. He'll have learned a lot from us. There were Grade mm -hmm. one, Grade One horses in in a Grade Two. 
and I was happy when we finished third. Um, you know, there are two for the national hunt chase. The Ballymore novice hurl, Jinto, you had yeah. a high opinion of him for day one when he went point to point in various. That's right, yeah. He's he's he, he's look at he was he was always bought to be a big stay and chaser and that's what he's going to be. Um you know, we'll we'll wait and see what way the ground is, whether he goes for the Ballymore or the Albert Bartlett. At the moment I'd probably be leaning a little bit towards the towards the Ballymore. You know, he's not as slow maybe as people are saying he is, you know, he's won his maiden hurdle, his grade two and his grade one all over two and a half miles. Um, I think it'd be a big jump up to three miles. You know, uh, with the Albert Bartlett, the slog, and you need a horse to really, really stays. Um, but he's in good form. I'm very happy with him. It wasn't ideal that we to make the run in Nace, and maybe he looked, you know, not as impressive as as you'd like him to be. But you know, he again he knows how to win, and he jumps very well, and um, I think he's a very nice horse. Champion bumper, we hear it every year, it's a strong race, but yeah. this year looks particularly, but American Mike, Navin, pre-Christmas, yeah. very impressive. Yeah, um, look, he's in good form, I'm very, very happy with him, Jamie Codrow and Mark Dealer in, you know, Jamie doesn't say too much, and, and he, he, he likes him, he, he's um, he's very, very happy with him, um, you know, but you can't be a, a bit impressed with, with Willie's horse, the, the twice, uh, Fasal Vega, the twice he won, uh, he looked very good, Redemption Day looked good as well. He beat a horse of ours that won the next day, but um, you know, I think that race really turned into a sprint. For me, Fasal Vega looks the one to beat, but um, I haven't got a chance to look at it yet, but someone very shrewd told me, if you go back to the times of Navin and Leppertown, the Navin time was quicker and softer ground on a tougher track, so um, our horse is a good horse. Whether he wins or not, we'll, time will tell, but he's a good horse. If he gets there in one piece and everything works out, he won't be far away. The Reiner Chase obviously conflated it's a bit up in the air where he goes but yeah. uh, if he was to go there the Gold Cup uh, how impressed were you with him in that first time? Uh, listen he, uh, you can't be both impressed with him you know people are not cold in his form you know he is a bit hot and cold but his horse is definitely in a better place at the moment than he was he's a lot more settled he looks a lot better on the gallop um, and we're happy with him um, whether we go for the Ryanair or the Gold Cup you know time will tell you know if you listen to Michael he'd love to go for the Ryanair and Davy Russell loved to go right there as well because you get to ride him. <laughs> but uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. You know, in my mind, there's only one Gold Cup. Um, do you know whether you like it or lumpy? He bet last year's winner of the Gold Cup five and a half lengths at the line. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know he can knock holes in his farm. He you managed every chance to catch him. Um, I know Manello Indo is a lot better around Cheltenham, but um, of course, hasn't done anything wrong. You know. And do you think the improvement at three miles was the key to him in Leperstown? I do, yeah, I do. But look, at the other side of it is, if, if you take Alaho out of the race, uh, the Ryanair is a very open race, because you can see the, probably the second, third and fourth in the betting, maybe not even running in the Ryanair. So you could end up second favourite in in, uh, in the Ryanair, and you know you should never be afraid of one horse. The Camir Chase race yeah. that you love, you have a good history with. Yeah, so oh, it's a race I like. Um, you know, I think if you've got the... The, the good amateurs, you have a half a stone up their mm-hmm. sleeve, you know. Um, we'd probably run three in it, I'd say, Fran. We'd run frontal assault. Ro- he's got top weight. Rob James will claim seven off him. Um, and then we have uh, Smoking Gun, who had a very good run in the Porto Sound Chase and a good run in Ferry House over two miles seven the last day. And we run Glen Low. Um, both of them horses are in, are in very good form. But all three horses are in good form. Um, obviously, Rob James will ride... Um, Frontal assault, and then just depend on Derek whether Derek rides Glen Low. Jamie will have to pick up the other two. Um, Smoke and Gun probably has more experience. You know he's uh, he's in good form and he's very very well. And then you've Glen Low. He's you know he was second in the attempts, just beaten by Delta Work. Um, he looks very well handicapped. You know he has to be an easy horse to train and has had plenty of problems. But if he came back to Cheltenham on his A game, you know he wouldn't be far away. But uh, we run train that'll be well. Three good riders having that kind of race. Yeah, we've we've uh, Jamie and we have Rob and we've another good jockey up our sleeve, but we're waiting on an answer off Derry whether he's going to ride ours or not. So he'll have to make his mind up very soon. Juveniles start with a triumph hurdle course. Uh, Phil Dore been running really well. Obviously, just got beat at Leperson yeah. and of course Pipe Piper winning at Cheltenham, beat for Bon in Punchestown on his debut. Yeah. Um, you know, I suppose in Punchestown, for Bomb and 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 Phil or Pied Piper, sorry, um, you know both horses. You know, for Bomb was probably a bit keen, jumped a bit novice, and 
our lad, I knew he'd come on an awful lot from the run. So maybe both horses have improved from it. You know, our lad came, went on from there and won in Cheltenham and won well. You couldn't but be impressed with him. And um, you know, of course, experience is massive for them juveniles. Uh, but he's in good form. He's come on very well from the race. Um, it'll be an interesting match. Um, I suppose like it, Pied Piper's probably more of a speedy horse in my mind mm. than Phil Dore, you know. But um, Phil Dore is a, is a good horse. The track on Friday will suit him an awful lot better than Leopard Sound. He's a couple of lengths to find with with Willie's horse. Um, you know, it's a good horse, and you know we're all saying it's going to be a three horse race, but maybe one of the English might come and come and spoil the party. But uh, you know, they're they're talking about Willie's horse that was that was third in the Grade One. A lot of lads are on about him. He was very good. Um, look, it's going to be a good race, and sure, if it comes home to Ireland again, it'll be great. And that's key about the triumph, that new course in, Le- in Cheltenham, you have two hurdles in the last seven yeah. furlongs, Leopardstown speed. Yeah, yeah. That, that I, think, I, think, I think that will play into to file Lohr's hands. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Davy rides, he's rolled both of them, so whatever he doesn't ride, Jack will, Jack will ride, but... Uh, Knowing Davy, he'd probably be trying to get me to run Phil Dore in the, in the boodle, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to claim off him there. If I do, if he did, if he did run it, I would be, yeah. And of course, uh, both of them are owned by Caldwell Construction yeah. and red and white colours. Pretty familiar now. They are, yeah. You know, investing a lot of money into the game. There'll be owners in Cullen and Trash, so it'd be great if them for them if they could get a, get a Cheltenham winner. On to the boodle, so obviously Phil Dore does have an entry in that, yeah. but uh, Dr Churchill been a revelation since going jumping. He has, yeah. Uh, we've probably done five in, five in the boodles. Um, you know, with Dr Churchill, uh, you know, he, his jumping can be a little bit, and obviously, I suppose that would be one little worry, but he's getting better every run. Uh, Ebizari, uh, he had a good run um, in Cork first time out. Beat Adam and he chose He him. did, yeah. You know, we had to get two more runs into him and get him qualified, and he seems to be in good form. Uh, Britska, he probably like the drier to go a better chance he'd have. Um, you know the tide turns. He's in very good form. I was very happy with him the last day. You know, so I, th- I think we, I think we run five in it, I, and I, I break the soil. Um, he's only doing what he has to do, and he, he he works better at home than he runs on the track. So he he could be he could be well enough handicapped that lid off, off off a low mark. You know. The Mayor's Chase, um, Mount Ida has been a revelation yeah. this year. Shown a lot more pace, maybe than she what is, she yeah. did yeah. last year. Of course, she won at the festival. She definitely has shown a lot more pace. You know, um, last year at the festival, she came home. She was very sore behind after. I'd say she just mightn't have been right, or she might have given herself a twist over the first last year. Mm. Um, you know, obviously we didn't run her again after the race, but um, I thought it was a good performance. The second horse in the race went on and won the Hennessy for Nisha for the, not the Hennessy. What was the Hennessy? Phoenicia Williams horse that was second in the Kim Yor last year done and won the Hennessy but Mount Ida showing a lot more pace um, you know just listening to a few documentaries and a few different things you, you listen to the way different people train horses and you know sometimes we get you know focused on maybe training a horse over a trip you know you think they won't you know you think they might be a three miler but we're always afraid to bring them back and trip and um, so we've been kind of training her for a little bit more speed this year um, and it seems to be working you know she um seems to suit her, you know, she's working with quicker horses and it seems to be making her a little bit faster, but she's in good form, you know, she's, uh, there's not a lot between her and LMA, mm. um, you know, obviously, if Polly put the kettle on or whatever Henry's horse is called, um, if, if that came back to, to, her, to her queen mother form, you know, she, 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 she could be very dangerous, but um, our mare's in good form and um, at the moment I'm leading towards the mare chase. Martin Pipe, great mentor of yours, yeah. you spent a lot of time with him. Chemical right. energy is an interesting one of that. Yeah, we could we could run five or six in this again, Fran. You know, chemical energy we've kept him for the race. Um, he's in good form. Um, I suppose the one worry I'd have with him, he went up for the bumper last year and he lost his life. You know, he lost an awful lot of weight over there. He's a year older now, so hopefully it might he might be a bit a year a year wiser. But um, he's in good form. We've kept him for the race, so hopefully he runs well. And um, we've come to the golfer. Um, IA Connect, Mars Harper. Um, we we'll run we we'll run five or six in the race, fan. Just depend all for run. Just depend on what gets in. The golfer is an improver. He is, you know. And a lot of times, a horse that wins that race is a horse that has graded form, mm. and he's won a grade three in his last run, so he could he could be dangerous. And um, depending on what way Ginto goes, I could switch Hollow Games back to that as well, and he's grade one form as mm. well. So, um, you know, we, we haven't finalised what we're going to run the Martin Pipe, but uh, we'll try and get as, as strong as a team as we can.